Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of gold USD. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So let's get started. Today is Friday and no big event lined up for today. This is the economic calendar. You can see that the only big event coming up is existing home sales for US dollar and retail sales for GBP. So let's wait and watch how the market reacts. Usually, you should be careful, especially during the Friday, uh, Friday evening sessions because of uh, unexpected spikes. Okay, so please, please be careful. Okay, so let's have a look at the chart of dollar first, DXY. And this is the chart of DXY, US dollar currency index. And right now, DXY is standing at 106.56. This is the one hour chart here. So yesterday, yesterday we saw the DXY tried to recover again, but it failed to cross the previous high here, 107.16. So for today, DXY's resistance level is 107.16 to 107.20. This is the temporary resistance for DXY for Friday session. In case DXY shows volatility, in case DXY shows extreme buying today, then the next resistance for DXY will be 107.60 to 108 level. We have already discussed about this level here. That 107.60 to 108 level will be important because we have 200 moving average as well as the same level has acted as uh, support previously. Therefore, we can expect this level to act as the new resistance for the market okay so 107.60 to 108 level is a big resistance for dxy but temporary 107.10 sorry 15 to 107.20 this is the resistance on the other hand you can see that we have a trend line here which is trying to provide support to the market so temporary um, support is the trend line here so if the volatility of the market remains like this okay if the volatility of the market remains like this then you can expect dxy to bounce from the trend line okay but in case dxy shows good amount of selling during the day then the next support for dxy will be the previous low here which is 105.30 and the good support is 105 we have already discussed in detail about the importance of 105 previously now let's have a look at the chart of gold Things have not changed much on the chart of gold here. If you have watched my yesterday's video, then hopefully you made good money because we talk about the importance of this support on the chart of gold. And if we look at the present trend of gold, then we can see that there is not much volatility in the market. Market is almost flat here. Market is dull. Market is sluggish. And if we look at the present trend here, then there is no doubt that gold is sideways. Yes, gold was bullish gold was bullish but right now the gold chart has lost the momentum and it looks like a typical sideways market with very less volatility so as a result do not expect a big move in the market as long as you see these kind of candles and right now we don't have any fundamental factor also that will bring extreme volatility or good amount of volatility on the chart of gold so listen to me carefully now so right now gold is standing at 1763 so buying and selling does not have any logic here around 1763 to 1765 because if you place a buy position here then your stop loss will be here so your stop loss will be around 100 pips again if you take a sell position also here then your stop loss will be here again your stop loss will be around 90 to 100 pips so this is not the ideal place to trade so where you should place a trade now wait for the market to come down see yesterday we waited for the market to come down here market bounce we got the opportunity you will have to do the same thing so if market goes up from here okay if market goes up from here then obviously the big resistance for friday is 1785 to 86 previously it was 1800 Previously, it was 1800, but right now the big resistance for gold is 1785 to 86. But as you can see, that there is not much volatility in the market. So the next resistance will be 1770. 
1770 will be the next resistance on the chart of gold if not a trend reversal again you can expect a profit of 30 to 40 pips considering the present volatility of the market because right now you can see the market does not have the strength to go up okay so in this in this scenario in this situation 1770 can also act as a resistance let me show you why because you can see the uh, the blue line the 50 moving average is acting as dynamic support here so see previously it provided support to the market so here somewhat resistance so we can expect that 1770 may act as resistance again and if i take you to the 15 minutes chart also and if i draw the fibonacci here then you can see around 1770 around 1770 we have got fibonacci 50 percent retracement level okay fibonacci 50 50 percent retracement level and previous price rejection and around the 1770 we can also see the market has previously taken support previously market has taken support so we can expect the same level to act as resistance plus fibonacci retracement plus 50 moving average on the one hour time frame so if we combine all the factors then yes during the day we can expect that 1770 may act as a resistance for the market but as we all know no level is permanent in the market so please be careful if you see market condition like this market uh, flat and all then only take a sell position if you see price is being rejected from above then only take a sell position in case market shows a green candle like this okay market shows a green candle like this obviously that level will not work after all you must understand that not all levels have the equal amount of strength in this chart okay in this chart okay 1785 to 86 is the good support okay this is a medium level support volatility plays a big role in the market so you will have to check the volatility of the market first okay then only you can um, trade accordingly and if market comes down if market comes down i think this time you must be very careful with the 1756 support 1756 to 55 okay the support from yesterday today you must be careful with 1756 to 55 level because already market has tested it yesterday and market does not like common things so if the if the volatility remains like this then you can expect a small bounce otherwise there is a chance that market will break it okay if market breaks it then the next support will be around 1746 to 1744 listen to me carefully as market has tested it yesterday okay so the market will be expecting to bounce again but market may not bounce today and it may break it if if market shows good volatility okay then you will see market forming a red candle and breaking the support but it will be for stop loss hunting only okay it will be for sl hunting only i think in this market condition market will go up again market will bounce again okay and it can be around 1746 to 44 so it can be a scenario like this okay so if market breaks also do not take any sell position you may be trapped Okay, you may be trapped because market may after hunting down the stop losses market may go up again so please be careful so this is it and in case market breaks 1770 and starts going up do not take any buy position again it may be a trap also okay market is full of traps you must understand it okay let's wait and watch how the market reacts do not gamble with your hard-earned money keep in mind it's your it's your capital you need to protect it okay so only trade after proper confirmation no trader is 100 percent accurate so follow proper risk management bye bye take care